Cav Cop here. Today's video, I want to go over a knife. The Tom Brown Tracker. This is the Tom Brown Tracker number one, used in movies such as The Hunted, which kind of made it famous. But it's more of a tool than a knife. It's kind of a hit or miss for some people, it causes a lot of debate in some of the online forums and stuff. But today we're going to go over an overview of this, talk about what makes it good, what might make it bad, and hopefully I'll do some future videos on this so we can see if this thing actually performs like it should. It does require a little bit of uh, training and experience with the different things it's supposed to do. It's not a, a novice knife by any means. But let's go inside and take a little bit deeper look into the Tom Brown Tracker number one. All right, so let me do an overview of the Tom Brown Tracker knife. It's uh, made by Tops. Comes with a sheath. It's meant to be carried in the uh, scout fashion, which is basically along your back. So this would be meant for a right-handed draw if you weren't in the small of your back, which a lot of times in the military and law enforcement, they always say you don't want to put anything back where your spine is, but that is a way that a lot of people like to carry these and everything. Um, the 550 cord, power cord, I added on myself. Um, it comes just a Clydex sheath, and these are adjustable. Um, they can rotate as far as the clips go on here. They're kind of stiff, but if you adjust it, it's going to be kind of for a left-hand side carry, not necessarily for a right-hand carry. But let's get the blade out, and we'll go over some of the functions of the blade itself and everything. Starting back here at the handle, um, the handle's designed so that you can grab it with like two fingers and use it as kind of like a hatchet thing where the front up here is going to be the hatchet and your grips back here. You can also grab it further back if you need to do basic chopping to, uh, tasks and stuff like that. You can grab it back there and then you can grab the third position would be choked up on it a little bit more. There is some jimping and stuff on the back here. Um, you have a little finger choil right before where the blade part is. The curve part right here is used for um, when you want to end up hitting it with a stick and splitting wood and stuff. The blade part right here that comes in is meant to be used as kind of like a draw knife um, or your cutting section. And one of the ways that Tops kind of says to use it is if you have a piece like leather or buckskin, you can grab it and draw towards you if you want to clear off a branch strip stuff or something like that or if you want to split a smaller piece of wood you'd stack the wood up here and baton it from the top so depending on how you want to use it that's what this section right here of the blade is for so you can use it as like a draw knife you can use it to push away with um, then you have the quarter round right here which is kind of unique and a lot of people have like a love hate thing with it it's real hard to sharpen a knife like this but with the quarter round it allows you to draw and do feather sticks or pull away and do feather sticks or if you want to use it like a gut hook when you're opening something up you can get it in and use it to cut and do a, a gutting or a skinning with it. Then the front part of the blade, the belly part right here, can be used for chopping and then again if you want to use a grip on it like the buckskin thing you can use the belly of it to scrape uh, fat and stuff off the inside of an animal hide. And then you also have the tip, which the tip can pierce into things. You can use it if you want to make a hole to start like a bow drill or something like that. You can also choke up on it and use it for uh, etching or uh, scrimshaw type stuff. So if you want to do some etching or something like that on uh, bone or something like that, or if you have some material or wood that you want to do some designs in, you can use it kind of like a pen to do that. The very first notch in here is uh, meant to be used as a wire breaker. So if you come across a barb link, uh, barbed wire fence or a chain link fence, what you would do theoretically is you'd go from the top down on it and then work it left and right until you weaken and snap the uh, wire that you're trying to get through. Well, obviously you don't cut any wire, it doesn't belong to you for fencing and stuff. Here it has saw teeth, and each one is kind of staggered and angled a little bit different. 
and it's designed to cut notches um, not necessarily as a saw I mean small branches you can saw through and everything but if you want to put some woodwork together you can use it flat and do notching with it or you can hold it over at like a 45 degree angle and do a notch for like a deadfall trap or something like that so if you want to cut out grooves you can cut out grooves with it if you want to end up doing uh, 45 degree angles for like deadfall traps and stuff you can do that you can also use it to score a uh, bone so if you harvest some game or something like that a hog a, a cow whatever it might be and you want to work through the bone and snap it you can use this to score around the sides of the bone and then break it off but that's a basic overview of it a lot of people don't realize all the different things it'll do it's kind of a one tool option and it's meant more for like a woodsman knife or I guess a, a trapper knife more than actual tracker knife um, but it kind of got its notoriety within some of the bushcraft community stuff and everything for bushcrafting there's probably better options out there for a survival knife to me personally I think it's actually kind of neat uh, let me go and uh, get a few other things here and I'll do some comparisons and talk about it a little bit more all right so like we said, uh, it's supposed to be a, a one-tool option, kind of, with the tracker knife. This is the Tom Brown number one. It's the largest one they make. They do make three other smaller sizes. I might go into that later, too. But it fills the need for wire cutters or bolt cutters. But if you want to end up doing some serious work or something, you're going to need something decent size to cut it. You're not going to be able to use hand pliers, usually. Like I said, this will be able to cut through it. If you end up wanting to do notching or woodwork type stuff a lot of times you might carry a small silky saw or something like that and this kind of fills the role for being able to notch through stuff and do some woodworking and stuff like that with it same thing if we go to like the hatchet this right here is a small hatchet um, this right here would be kind of the cutting piece of it if you look at the lengthwise you'd actually have a heavier stronger blade with this but you'd actually have a longer reach with this and like I said you're supposed to grab it down low to use as a hatchet so you're actually gonna have a bit of a more leverage type thing or more articulation with this um, versus a small heavy hatchet like this I do have some larger Gerber ones this right here is kind of an emergency one just to do stuff with but this right here is kind of useless and this right here is probably just as useless compared to a larger axe or a hatchet to be able to use but in an emergency these things can end up working and like I said this is a cops uh, the Bob Brotherhood of Bush Bushcraft knife and this is your typical field type knife similar to what you might get with some of the SEs the Moras the uh, BK 16s and stuff like that but this would be a good survival field knife size wise obviously going to be a bit bigger a bit heavier if you end up going with the tracker knife but when you look at all the different functions it has the tracker knife does bring some stuff to the table you just have to be able to figure out no practice and be able to use this to the ability that it has and a lot of people aren't always aware of that now one thing that uh, tops does recommend with the tracker knife overall is that it's designed to be like a one tool option but they do recommend having a smaller companion knife for it and Topps has their scout knife which as an infantryman and as a scout I think it's kind of cool that they make a scout knife and it's designed to be paired with it this one right here is some lashing holes you can tie off to make a spear it's a little bit smaller it's actually the size of a cold steel lawman that I have even the blade shape is similar and I really like the cold steel lawman it's my everyday carry but this little scout carry knife is a pretty good accessory to go with it. Um, one of the things I thought was interesting though is the scout carry has these white inserts on it where the Brotherhood of Bushcraft knife the tops makes and the uh, tracker here has red inserts so it doesn't necessarily match as well. Um, I do wish that tops would include with the knife maybe a pamphlet or something that shows exactly how all these different things are meant and designed to be used with it because it is a nice knife it is kind of expensive they can run up about two hundred dollars or so but they are made in the USA and that is something that I'm appreciative of uh, made in the USA and the 1095 steel that they use with it is pretty good 
the Tom Brown uh, tracker number two is smaller than this and then the number three is bigger than the number two and then the number four is kind of a smaller uh, version of it they all look the same but they do have different sizes and weights if you're going to look into something like that you might want to read up on it I went with the number one because this is the original one that was designed and it seems like the right size to use if you're going to try to apply it and use it in the proper way and hopefully over the next year or so I hope to get out in the field and be able to put this knife to the test and see how well it holds up there is going to be a learning curve to it obviously but there's a lot of neat things you can do with it um, the flat part right here that you can use to uh, baton through wood with and everything they recommend you can use it to uh, make like a throwing stick out of it or like a rabbit stick so you can smash off a piece of wood use the quarter round here to help profile it a bit and basically make almost like a larger version of a boomerang that's meant to throw one way and not return but uh, throwing sticks are kind of neat people used to use them in the more primitive time Native Americans and other indigenous people would uh, use them with great success nowadays we've kind of gotten away from that but if you want to make traps snares skin animals process stuff um, this is a neat one tool option and something to think about hope you enjoyed this video if you would check out some of the buddies that helped me get started in the video industry and doing uh, I guess uh, video uh, creative stuff there's a uh, deer Sarge he's on rumble um, I don't think he's on YouTube anymore you have therapy range um, always survives they're on rumble and YouTube I prefer rumble overall myself but that's an individual choice but I just want to try and expand and grow my channel so I appreciate any likes and follows I get Cav cop out Thank you.